Hey everybody, what's up? This is Janet coming to you from Bold Fit. And today I wanted to talk to you about cardio training versus strength training. So in the fitness world, oftentimes you might think that these two things are in completely different camps with each other. So those people who want to work on endurance and burning calories tend to stay more on the cardiovascular side. Where a lot of the people who want to bulk up or hypertrophy with their muscles stay on just the strength training side. And both camps might think that they don't really need or have an overlap with the other. Well, in reality, just like anything else in life, you want to have a balance. So these two actually complement each other very well. So for those who are doing cardio but really want to actually burn more fat and change their body composition, they definitely should include some sort of resistance loading training into their workout regime. And the same thing on the other side, if you're doing a lot of strength training and avoiding cardio because you're afraid to lose muscle mass, well don't be. Especially when you're doing types of workouts that are really trying to push your intensity, like HIIT training. So in those times, you're gonna be working at a higher intensity level, which is actually gonna help increase your muscle mass and your endurance so that when you come back into the weight room to do those heavy lifts, you're actually gonna have a better base to work from. So that's what we're gonna be working on today is for those people who do a lot of strength training but not so much cardio. And so for this workout I have planned, we're gonna start with a warm up, then move it into a Tabata section that will include some weights. And then we're gonna finish with two cycles of a 45 second circuit where I'm gonna include body weight and also some movements with weights. And they're all gonna be a little bit higher intensity so you probably and shouldn't use heavy weights for these but just enough so that they are a challenge so that you can keep that intensity going. So if you're ready, get your water, turn that music up, and let's get started. All right, let's get started with our warm up here. We're gonna have several movements for about 30 seconds each, dynamic warm up. so here we go. Starting with the boxer shuffle, so you wanna bounce from the balls of your feet right to left, shifting your weight without necessarily twisting your hips here. A different class and get your arms up like you would like a fighter in the ring nice and solid here just a little bit of a cardio uptake as we get into this warm-up good you got nine seconds then we're going to move into body weight squats in three two one bring your feet about shoulder width apart you're going to bring the hips and glutes back sending the weight into your heels chest stays open shoulders roll back and down and we're gonna pick up the tempo a little bit here. This is gonna be getting ready for our cardio Tabata and 45 second circuits. Good. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you come up, pop those hips forward. Be conscious of your upper body staying nice and upright and not hinging forward. Good, all right, from here, we're gonna come into a little plie or bring your feet and toes out so that everything is aligned and you have your hands right on top of your uh, knees and you're gonna twist one shoulder in as you're pushing that same knee out. So you're opening up the hips and getting a little twist here. Open up that back a little bit more, creating space. Good, kind of at your own pace, rolling back and forth. Nice, all right, three, two, one. So now keeping your feet apart, we're gonna come into some side to side lunges. So here's another way to really open up through your hips and thighs, just going back and forth. So lunges like these, you wanna kind of think of them as like doing a squat over one leg. So again, you're not trying to collapse forward. You're keeping your shoulders down and back, chest open, and shifting from adducting to adducting. So pushing away from the midline and towards the midline with your thighs. Good, so let's come down now to the floor for a 30 second plank. So I'm gonna have my hands with my wrist, elbows, and shoulders stacked. I'm squeezing my thighs and glutes into the midline. I'm pushing my heels back, making sure that my shoulders are over my hands a little bit. You don't wanna send it back, because that way you're gonna impact your low back. So stay nice and tight through this. Breathe, five seconds. Good, stay steady, three, two, one, bring yourself back up. A little more cardio here with some high knees. So again, jumping on the balls of our feet, trying to get the knees up, but just because this is a warm up, you don't necessarily have to get them all the way up. We're just doing a light job. Get the heart rate up a little bit more. 
Good. And don't forget, you know, use your arms ring if the whole body's integrated. Because would you run like this? No, just look weird, right? All right, you got two and one. Good. Keep walking in place. Make sure that you're breathing from your diaphragm. So pull it in through your nose, from the belly, put it out your mouth. All right, so we're going into our Tabata section. So the Tabata is a reminder. You're gonna do four minutes of eight rounds with 20 seconds work effort, 10 seconds rest. One compound movement today, it's going to be a sumo squat sprawl. So what is that? So we're gonna take some lighter dumbbells. In my case, I'm using two tens. And I'm going to bring them from a standing position down to the floor. And then I'm gonna set myself back into a plank. And then from here, I'm gonna come forward into a low squat, kind of like a sumo. So my knees and toes are pointed out. And then I'm gonna push through my heels just like I would in a sumo squat to stand back up. Back down again, plank and repeat. So at a faster pace, more intensity on this one than you would just do for a normal weightlifting exercise. So that's what we're gonna do for those four minutes. Are you ready to get started? Let's go. All right, so I'm setting up my timer. It's gonna give us the cues. So starting off, make sure you have the weights that you want. I'm gonna show you one time from the side angle and then I'll switch the rest of them and do it from the front. All right, without further ado, three, two, one. All right, bringing my weights down, plank, standing it up, still mindful of my form. So making sure that when I come back into the plank, my belly does not sag. When I come up from my squat, I'm driving through my legs, so I'm not using my arms or back to pick up the weights. Good. All right, 10 seconds. I'm moving my weights down to the front here. I should hold them. Oh, time flies. Ready? Let's go. Same thing here, driving up and down. So try to go a little bit faster here to gain a little bit more speed, but still concentrating on form. So speed doesn't mean you can break form. And if you are, slow it down. Good. Break. Grab your, grab some breath. <laughs> Catch your breath. In the nose, out the mouth. All right, here we go. Good, coming back down, plank. Good, inhaling as I go down. Exhaling, pushing that floor away from me with my heels. Engaging through my glutes to keep my knees open for my sumo. Good, nice. Inhale, coming back up to rest. Good, so make sure you try to Keep your shoulders back and down through the whole effort. Here we go. Back down. Stand. Good. Keep going. It's probably best not to talk all the way through this. Good. Let's go. Make sure you're really squeezing tight through your glutes. Stabilizing through your core. Good. Catch your breath. Remember, you gotta come back and do it again with the same intensity. All right, here we go. Back. So after a few times doing this, you might kind of figure out how many you're getting per each round and see if the next time you can improve upon that while keeping form. Good. Catching the breath. We're getting there. This can be a rough four minutes. Mind over body. Here we go. Boom. If you're not sweating already, we gotta talk. Tell me what's going on. Good. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good. Stand it up. Oh. Balance. All right, breathe. We're getting there. Diaphragmatic breathing, get as much oxygen as you can into your bloodstream. And back down. Good, so if you're not even, maybe sumo's not your best squat, there's a good way to practice it without heavy weights. And from a lower position, 
Four seconds here. All right. Breathe. This is also working on your recovery time. All right, let's go. Down, exhale. Inhale, good. Find a focal point ahead of you. If that helps to help keep you balanced and keep your chest lifted. Last time here. Yeah! And rest. Walk in place, get some water, meet back on the mat for the next 45 second interval circuit. Ciao. All right, I hope you've caught your breath by now. Do make sure that you get your heart rate down to a point where it's safe to keep going, but not totally bottom out. So keep that diaphragmatic breathing going. So I'm gonna demo the five different movements that we're gonna do for the 45 second circuit. So again, it's gonna be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, five different exercises, two, two rounds. So the first one is gonna be all body weight. It's gonna be a push back, push up, which is one of my favorites. So giving a little more variety to the average push up. So if you're working on your chest, particularly triceps, this one, you're gonna come back into a plank position having your hands just a little bit wider apart than you would in a uh, normal plane because you're um, going to bring it outside of your chest for that push-up. You're going to load your beast back here. So like an animal flow, you're going to crouch back, making sure your hips, glutes come back, my head is down, and I'm going to punch forward, ejecting like a frog, push up, and then come right back into that loaded position and repeat. All right, so this is a kind of a more explosive movement. Um, and making sure that you get all the way back before you start over again. After that, we are gonna be doing jumping lunges. It's one of those awesome plyometric exercises that almost nobody loves, but they're good for you. Single leg movements, explosive power, and changing really quickly, and power training, especially for strength um, and weightlifters, you really need to have that power, right, to keep moving those heavy weights and working on those fast, twitch muscle fibers. So this is exactly the kind of exercise that would help with that. So wherever leg you want to start with out first, you will come into that lunge position, making sure you have 90 degree angles here in the back and the front and switching legs in the air and making sure you're coordinating your arms and your legs together. So 45 seconds of that. If you have any trouble with the plyometric as far as the jumping, you can stay in a reverse lunge and try to stay low and keep your tempo up. After that, we're going to move into some push press. So push press, you're going to grab some dumbbells for your shoulders, and we're going to start up here in about a flagpole position with your arms in a 90 degree angle, palms facing out. So again, for this one, it's not a strict overhead press. I'm going to bend my knees a little bit to give me a little power and push them up. Slowly I'm going to bring it back down with control and repeat up slowly on that negative and a little bend, extend up. All right, be careful of not hyper extending here. So you wanna move with control, even with that power. And then after that, we're gonna do renegade rows. So for renegade rows, you're gonna get a lot more core involved here, as well as your back, your rear delts. Coming back into a plank position, and I'm gonna hold on to the dumbbells this time. My feet are gonna be a little bit wider apart so I have better stability. And from here, I'm gonna do one row from one side. So just like I would do a bent over row, place it back down, push up in the middle, get the other side row, push up in the middle, and going on and on from there. So still making sure that I have my plank, everything's pulled in tight, and I'm not sagging here, I'm not bringing my booty up, and making sure when I pull on that bent over row, it's coming right from behind my shoulder blade scapular region and not my arms necessarily doing the movement. All right, and the final exercise, we're gonna do a sumo squat with an upright row, a high pull. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna grab my kettlebell for this one, and I'm gonna grab it from the top of the kettlebell. I'm gonna come up in my starting position, so my feet are out, about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna squat back, making sure my chest stays lifted, tap the kettlebell on the floor, and as I stand up, I'm gonna move into a high pull. So my elbows are going to flare out while that kettlebell comes right up in front of my chest and lowering it back down into one seamless compound movement. 
making sure again that you keep your glutes, hips coming back and not bending forward or arching too much through your back. All right, so those are the five. Get your water, get the music back on. Let's rock and roll. All right, let's get started with our 45 second circuit, starting out with those push back push ups. And if you're a badass at push ups, let me know what you think about this one, because I'm really trying to incorporate a lot of different varieties in push ups in my classes and personal training, and just want to get the feedback. All right, so starting off 45 seconds of that on the clock, you want to get into your plank position, load your beast. I'm going to start the timer in three, two, one. Push, push back, push up. All right, so loading the beast, coming out, eject, forward, out, inhale, exhale, back. Good, making sure that I'm getting a full depth with my push-up here. And if you're struggling with the push-ups, going all the way down first, let the momentum of this help you. It really does give a little extra That's kick. Okay to push forward like this, like you're ejecting out, coming back in, or go to your low point, wherever that is without sacrificing your form. So everything goes with you in the push up. You're coming all the way down with your whole body in one line. Almost there. Two, one. Good. Rest. All right, jumping lunges are next. Stand up, get your breath back. We got 45 second interval of this. Pace yourself. Try to coordinate your arms with your legs. Good, let's go. Jumping lunges, so we're not looking for a huge jump here, but enough that you're able to get your legs in between, switching positions. Good, staying with your breath. Inhale, exhale. Diaphragmatic breathing. Good, also about balance. So find a focal point ahead of you. Help keep your shoulders back and down. Chest open. Whew. These are killers on the legs. Good, stay with it. Eight seconds. Three. Good. Two. One. Press. All right, 15 seconds. Push press, grab your dumbbells. Again, I recommend going lighter because you're trying to go for tempo here as I try to catch my breath. All right, slight dip, pow. Slow drive on that negative. Good, inhale, exhale. Slow it down with control on that negative. Good, pop, down, inhale, exhale. Good. Stay with that rhythm. If you have a mirror, definitely use it as feedback so you can watch your form and see how you're doing. Good, as you open up on that down forward part, opening through the back, pushing up with the shoulders. Good. Three. Almost there. Two, one. All right. Rest. 15 seconds. Renegade rows. Coming back down to the floor. I'm gonna be using 15 pounds for these. I'm gonna get into my plank position. Three, two, Legs out a little bit wider. Starting with one row right underneath my shoulder. Push up, and the same thing on the other side. So in this one, you really need to use your core to help keep you stable so that you're not rotating your hips here and still getting the most out of that bent over row position. So it is a row. Good. Now you can always take the push up part out. But oh, why? Push ups are so good for you. See, yeah, throw them in everywhere. Good. Eight seconds. Exhale. Three. Coming down. Two. One more row. Rest. All right. Last one here, sumo squat upright row. Going a little bit lighter today on my high pull. Weights down in front. I'm grabbing it from the very top. Coming into my sumo squat stance. Shoulders and knees are in line. High pull. Good. So again, flaring the elbows up on that high pull. Catabolic is coming right down in front of your chest. 
spreading my knees apart, coming into that sumo squat. Good. Inhale, exhale. Good. Keep the shoulders roll back and down. You want to keep your torso upright as you're doing your squat. Again, thinking about those sumo wrestlers, how low they are to the ground, how strong they are through their legs to hold that position. Good. All right, minute break here. I'm going to come back and repeat. All right, round two. Are you guys ready? This is it. Let's push for our best efforts here, okay? Starting once again with the push back push up. 45 seconds are on the clock. In three, two, one. Push back push up. Load the beast, eject forward. Good. Keeping your head as an extension of your neck and spine so you're not cranking it while you're not also looking all the way straight down. Looking just right ahead of my hands. Good. Use that power from the ejection. That's how to win. One of the main reasons I love this one so much. There's that ballistic movement to this. Power, which is great for anybody doing weightlifting. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Three. Almost there. Booyah. All right. Oh, the jumping lunges. Okay. Big deep breaths. As much oxygen as you can get into your bloodstream to recover faster. More energy. Are you ready? Let's go. All right. Also, be careful with your knees on this one. You don't want to crash them down. So be careful with the kneecap getting too low. Good. I'm already tired. My legs are definitely feeling it on this one. So if you need to take a break and do maybe those reverse lunges, go for it. That way you keep the heart rate up. You're still doing some movement, but taking a little bit of that power out. Still a good workout for the legs. Oh my gosh. No joke. This breathlessness is not fake. Oh, that's pushing the intensity. All right. Three. Push press next. One. Make sure I have your base of support here. Good. Slow it down. So that base of support, your glutes are squeezing nice and tight. You have a soft bend in your knees so that you're able to control the upper body movement. And you're not avoid and you're not getting into your low back. Making sure you always protect that. Good. Pop. Also, mindful of your symmetry here. Are you bringing both arms up around the same time? That's another thing that you monitor when you're lifting weights. Are you raising the bar at the same time without twerking? All right. Breathe. We have Renegade Rose next. So coming back down, setting up into a plank. Feet are gonna be a little wider apart. Renegade Rose. Squeezing my glutes and thighs into the midline. Good. Bring it back up. Row. Inhale. Exhale. Row. And again, repeat. sweaty buckets That's over here. <laughs> and I'm not having any help from my cats today. They decided to just lay there and watch the active beasts that they are. Seven seconds. Whew. Three, two, one. Good. Rest. OMG. All right, final one. Sumo squat, upright pull. Shoulders rolling back and down. Three, two, one. Good. Sumo squat. Sumo squat position. Coming down, shoulders roll back and down, lifting through the shoulders. 
Letting the elbows out, good. Take it in a little bit faster pace while, of course, maintaining form. Good. Another good one to watch in the mirror to see your arm placement while also make sure you connect that mind to muscle. What are the muscles that you're engaging throughout the whole movement? Connect with them. Tell your glutes to squeeze, to open up your knees. And down. And rest. Good. Catch your breath. Inhale as you come up. Don't sit down yet. Don't hunch over. You don't want to collapse your lungs. Walk in place. Catch your breath. Get some water. And cool down. So make sure you do some sort of static stretching for about 20-30 seconds of uh, the poses that you want to do but make sure you do get some sort of cool down so your muscles don't tighten and they stay more flexible so you be more uh, mobile and with that i hope that this will help you to maybe like a little bit more cardio and use it in your strength training or if you just do cardio now you have another way to incorporate strength into your workouts either way it goes well with each other, balance is the key, and I hope you guys had an awesome workout. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.